Good morning, everybody. Today we come to the end of Samson's story. We're in Judges chapter 16. Tomorrow in our Bible reading plan here at the church, we are in the book of 1 Corinthians in your New Testament. So 1 Corinthians chapter 1 for tomorrow. But today, Judges 16. And uh, what I want to talk about is not one particular verse. It's just the chapter, the story of Delilah and Samson's life. Because <clears throat> for me, Samson's story um, has always been kind of sad. I mean, yeah, you've got the all these dramatic things of him carrying the, the gates of that one city on his shoulders up to a mountain, killing a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of an ass, killing a lion with his bare hands, pushing the, the pillar so that the temple uh, collapses when he and the Philistines die. Um, but his story to me is not so much about that as it is about sadness because it almost feels like to some extent his life was was a lost opportunity. Um. He had a special gift, and he used it. But I sometimes wonder what he could have done beyond what he did do. I mean, there are so many times in Samson's story when he does not act in a very holy or righteous way. In the early days, he actually kills Philistines in anger. Not in battle, just in pure anger. Sleeps with a prostitute. Marries two women who are Philistines, not Jewish, in violation of what, uh, you know, God said, I guess he married the one, and, and, and uh, then he has Delilah, who's a Philistine, that he's in love with. <clears throat> and yet, despite all of that, God used him. God uses imperfect people, imperfect preachers, imperfect deacons, imperfect Christians. But... With Samson, God used him. How much more could God have done with Samson if Samson had lived more holy and righteously? And how much more could God do with me and you if we were more consistent in our holiness and righteousness? Uh, we know he had faith. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 32, we call that the, hall, the faith hall of fame. Well, in verse 32, nothing he did is described, but his name is listed. So he's, he's a person of faith, but his faith wasn't always consistent. To me, he is a tragic example of what could have been. A man who accomplished much. God did much through him. But I will always think about what, what could have been, how much more God could have done, how much more potential there was if, not, if, if in delivering the Jewish people from Philistine oppression, he had chosen to be more holy and more righteous. You know, I guess to some extent all of us have wasted potential and opportunity. It's my prayer, though, that my life doesn't have a lot of that and that your life does not have a lot of wasted opportunity and wasted potential. I think his story is a cautionary tale to not waste what could be. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.